I thought the carnivore diet must be a troll created to trigger vegans and can't be supported by anything more than unsubstantiated anecdotes. But after eating nothing but meat for over a hundred days, learning more about the nutritional science and hearing firsthand accounts from people who are using the diet to improve their lives, I'm discovering that the carnivore diet benefits are undeniable, stemming from its simplicity. Every diet that I've tried in the past requires you to track your calories, search for new recipes, and question whether the food is diet approved. The carnivore diet removes all these issues by asking you one simple question. Is there an ingredient that's not an animal? If there is, don't eat it. Otherwise, you're good to go. This binary choice dramatically reduces the amount of time you spend searching for recipes, shopping for food, and preparing your meals. The carnivore framework removes hundreds of variables from your diet, freeing your time and your mind for more important tasks. Every decision that we make drains our mental energy, causing decision fatigue, which can lead to our poor choices later on in the day. People like Steve Jobs, Mark Zuckerberg, and Barack Obama wear the same clothes every day so they don't need to spend their decisions on what they're going to wear. I must spend at least 10 times more energy deciding what to eat throughout the day than I do deciding what to wear in the morning. If eliminating wardrobe decisions can boost our performance, then eliminating dietary decisions can supercharge our minds. The simplicity of the carnivore diet provides cognitive benefits that become even more powerful when paired with increased vitamins and less toxins. Living things need to survive and reproduce. So animals develop physical traits to avoid predators, while plants develop toxic chemicals to defend against theirs. We know that most plants will harm us if we eat them. And if you don't believe me, then you can try going outside and making a salad from the first few trees that you find and report back. Our ancestors were likely victims of hundreds of different plant toxins before they found a select few that were edible. And just because we can eat these plants without getting sick or dying doesn't mean that there aren't other consequences. One we're probably all familiar with is the post-meal malaise. I always thought this was a consequence of eating too much food in a single sitting, but I never experienced this lethargy on the carnivore diet, despite often eating more than 2000 calories in a single meal. In just over one month on the carnivore diet, my productivity increased by over 17%. Even with a global pandemic requiring me to abandon my plans and shift my strategy, I was able to remain blissfully ignorant of all the mania around me and maintain an optimistic outlook. Improving my mental clarity and cognitive performance by a eliminating plants and increasing animals might also explain why the carnivore diet benefits people with mental health and autoimmune disease. Many people are driven towards a carnivore diet to resolve their mental health conditions, from anxiety to depression, and to cure their autoimmune conditions, from vitiligo to arthritis. There are countless stories of people using a carnivore diet to cure their ailments. I'm fortunate enough not to suffer from any medical conditions that would help me verify these claims, but eliminating a food to cure a disease makes sense. Some people's bowels explode if they eat gluten, while they're fine if they avoid it. Other people will die if they get too close to a peanut. How many other plant compounds are there that don't cause immediate reactions, but long-term ailments? A lot. Without severe or immediate symptoms, we all may be experiencing negative effects that we can't trace back to a specific food. The only time that I didn't have trouble focusing was when I was sitting in my doctor's waiting room reading the symptoms for ADD so I could get him to write me a prescription for a university student's preferred drug. Despite having the diagnosis overturned, my procrastination remained a chronic issue. But while following a carnivore diet, I was able to concentrate on releasing more YouTube videos in three months than I have in the previous five years. It's hard to know which food is causing your inability to focus when one lunch has more ingredients than your entire carnivore menu. What other problems might we have that we think are part of our biology but are actually a symptom of our nutrition? For many of us, the answer might be sleep. I'm not an insomniac, but there are nights where I'll spend hours lying in bed staring at my ceiling, sometimes not sleeping for even a minute. Since starting the carnivore diet, I have been falling asleep faster than any time that I can remember despite having more stress in my life that should be inducing insomnia. There's only been one day in the past 100 where I spent more than five minutes with my head on the pillow before waking up and realizing it's morning. And that's probably because on that one day I was running an experiment to learn if I can infuse a steak with THC. The waking paranoia is a clue to the results. Instant sleep means I have to postpone my late night thoughts to the early morning, which might explain why I'm having more trouble getting out of bed. When I was a kid, I used to enjoy laying in bed at night, fantasizing about being a superhuman, flying around the universe, saving planets from 
from villains. The carnivore diet might not be enough to provide me with the superpowers of my fantasies, but it's getting me closer to the physique. Starting the diet at 11.5% body fat, I lost 14 pounds in less than a month, getting the most shredded I've ever been while eating as much as I want, whenever I want, as long as the only ingredient is an animal. Even my facial structure seems to be changing. The carnivore diet benefits weight loss beyond comprehension. It's the only diet that I've ever followed where I don't need to track calories to consciously limit my food consumption. Breakfast has been a part of my morning for my entire life. I usually wake up hungry and can't get anything done until I eat, but the carnivore diet changes your relationship to food where I can just eat whenever it's convenient. The carnivore diet can reduce your appetite through a variety of factors, including nutrient density, food habituation, and ketone production. But even when eating around 4,000 calories a day, I was still losing weight, so fat loss might extend beyond appetite reduction. I'm speculating about many of the reasons why the carnivore diet benefits occur. Is it from eliminating plants, adding animals, a combination of both, or something else entirely? I'm investigating these questions as I build my diet from the foundation, starting with zero food and adding one at a time, finding the optimal combination for achieving my goals. Can I amplify these benefits or eliminate the consequences? Subscribe to find out. The carnivore diet has many benefits, but the biggest challenge, like with any diet, is sticking to it. And the best way to remain persistent is to connect with others on a similar path. If you wanna find support for your health and fitness journey while supporting this channel, then you can sign up for the Patreon page where you can receive access to an instant messaging and voice communication channel through an app called Discord. The page is still very new, so you'll be one of the first members and you can message me or anybody else who joins. And I'm gonna start hosting group calls where we can talk Talk about our goals, I can answer any questions, and we can all support each other. If you want to join but you can't afford the monthly subscription, then send me an email and I'll give you an invite. Next week I'll release a video on the five biggest drawbacks of the carnivore diet, and I'll see if I can address these problems as I reintroduce foods. Thank you all for watching, and I'm excited to continue sharing this journey with all of you.